Metabolism is one of the most complex topics to study for the MCAT. It's overwhelming, it's hard to organize and memorize all those different intermediates and pathways, and when students do it wrong, they tend to miss relatively straightforward questions that they should be getting right on testing. So this is my three-step process that I use with my students to help them learn metabolism effectively for their testing. Step one, you're gonna learn metabolism on a cellular and organ level where these pathways are happening, and what parts of the body they're happening in. Step two, you're going to learn the metabolic regulation for these different pathways and how it connects to homeostasis. And then step three, that's when you're going to memorize all those enzymes and intermediates and little details about metabolism. Most students do that in reverse. They'll start the memorization first, and it's so much detail that they have no context for. It's very hard to keep straight and easy to mix up. So, Step one, what you're going to do is you're going to take the 13 major pathways and you're going to figure out where in the cell do they happen. Do they happen in the cytoplasm or maybe the mitochondria? Do they happen only in liver cells or across the whole body? You're going to figure out where these things are happening and how they connect to each other with their reactants, what comes into the pathway, and their products, what leaves the pathway. Before we talk about the next two steps to learning metabolism, just a quick reminder to subscribe to this channel. I post videos about content and strategy and stress management skills that you can use to do really well in your MCAT studying and, of course, on testing. The second step to studying metabolism is to learn how each pathway is regulated, what turns them on or turns them off, and why we need each pathway for the regulation of our energy levels in our bodies via homeostasis. Remember, metabolism just breaks down different molecules for energy or stores them for future use later. So understanding why we would need to break down or build up different molecules is an essential understanding to not just metabolism, but how our body works in general to regulate our energy. Finally, step three, this is where you're doing your memorization, enzymes and intermediates of each pathway. For most pathways, you just need the major important enzymes and intermediates, but for our aerobic respiration, think glycolysis, citric acid cycle, and electron transport chain, you need to know every intermediate and every enzyme for those pathways. You want to do this last. Once you have the general gist of how things work and how they connect, then in the last few weeks before your test day, go ahead and memorize those different enzymes and intermediates and connect it to your understanding of enzymatic function in biochemistry and organic chemistry with the organic structures. All right, I hope these three steps will help you as you prepare to study metabolism for your MCAT. Remember to try to stay organized, take it one step at a time, and as always, happy studying.